Good morning. Welcome to the first step of exporting an inventor file to an STL in order to send uh, the file to a Catalyst program to print on your 3D printer for Project Lead the Way Most Likely classes. Uh, I'm Joe Siskowski from School District U46 and uh, here we go. I have set up already, um, opened up an IP, uh, IPT file, a single part file in Inventor. Uh, I've also opened up an assembly to show you that you can do the same uh, technique in assembly. So starting with a single file, you're going to click on the I in Inventor. You can do it one of two ways. You can go to Save As and then Save Copy As, or you can go to Export CAD Format. Either way will work. Once this window pops up, first step is to tell it where to save in. So on the desktop, I have made a folder called Demos. Make sure it has the correct name that you are looking for, and then switch the file type to an STL. Before you go ahead and hit Save, make sure to hit Options, and make sure your units are in inches. I'm seeing a lot of times uh, it's in centimeters or millimeters. So make sure it is in inches or whatever appropriate unit is it's supposed to be in. Click OK, then click Save. Once this is done, you can then exit out of Inventor. I'm going to also do this to this assembly part as well. So if you want to print this whole assembly as one piece, you can do the same technique. This time I'll show you the Save Copy As. Notice it looks exactly the same as the export. Again, change it to STL. Tell it where to save. A proper name. And then click Options and make sure it says you, you, uh, the correct units, whether it's inches, centimeters, millimeters. Uh, click Save one more time. And that's it. You are ready to open up your Catalyst uh, program and import these STLs to send to the 3D printer. Watch the next video to see how to do that.